Welcome to Ika's world. For those of you who are new here, I am Ika. And uh, in today's video, I uh, invited you to decorate for spring with me. This is part two. Uh, part one was my kitchen. And today uh, I did my dining room and my living room which is one open space. This vase was painted in all kinds of colors and it just, it is it, beautiful, don't get me wrong. It, it was gorgeous, but it's just not me. I don't agree with too many colors in in the same piece so uh, what I did I painted it white and then I just uh, highlighted the flowers with gold I think it's much prettier right now and uh, it it matches it blends in with my with my decor better um, for the dining room I didn't do much I actually did um, the China cabinet off camera if you are one of my subscribers you probably remember that I used to have um, those filigree fine porcelain plates, display plates that um, I had brought from Romania many, many years ago and uh, I replaced them with these guys. I have one out here for a closer look. They are baby wolves. They are from uh, by Lee Cable, ninth issue, The Wild Bunch. It's a limited edition. I think they are very pretty, and they are they are um, matching my chairs. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's that's all I did for my dining room.
and of course the the flower arrangement uh, this is a combination of old roses and this pink one is new one I just got it at Michael's it, right now they have it at 50% off so it's well worth it and the white ones I had before this is all I did for my dining room and if we turn around there is my living room it's a beautiful sunset I can never get enough of these uh, sunsets they're just gorgeous and I have a gorgeous view as you can see I have uh, a wall of windows but anyway on uh, fireplace except for the candle and the candle candle holder everything is a DIY if you're one of my subscribers you will probably remember the vase used to be an ugly uh, purple and then this one was actually a lamp and I DIY'd into a ginger jar and then I just um, put in some um, orchids and those um, beads branches beaded branches I don't know what to call them they are just to give it a little sparkle and oh and uh, the tray is also a DIY actually this is a cutting board and I applied some uh, rhinestones legs from um, legs I made from um, I don't know if you can see them probably can from um, pearls and then I spray painted some old um, door handles and voila I have a new tray on this side I the only thing that I changed from before is I brought out the horse I have this is also from Romania I had it for many many years and I gave it a little sparkle I thought it would be a good fit there in that corner can't remember if you if I have um, a videotaped the new pillowcases I used to have silver and once I decided to bring in more gold accents then I changed the pillowcases Here, nothing has changed in that corner a little bit has changed um, the two DIY paintings that I did a few days ago I'm probably going to change them again because now I plan to do two more different ones so in a few days they will be there will be different ones there but anyway I still love those and then my coffee table I just did the flower arrangements I threw in 
um, a few pink roses. Uh, the only new thing here is the coasters, which I just bought from Home Sense. I don't see the price. I think if they were like $14 or something like that. And uh, and then I had the jars before, so I just put in some bunnies and a few eggs. And then a candle. I already had the trays. Sometimes I just go shopping around my house and uh, <laughs> I have a stash of everything. <laughs> When I want to change, I just go to my, to my, I turned the whole closet into uh, home decor. Oh, and the, the, this tray, this gold tray is fairly new. I think I got it at Christmas time, but I, I don't think I displayed it before. Maybe I have, I don't know, but I, no, it wasn't here. Here is a different setting on my coffee table. Uh, the coffee table I keep changing. It's probably going to change multiple times until Easter. In truth, I don't go all out in decorating for Easter the way I do for Christmas, for instance. At Christmas, I sometimes I, I do too much. I want to um, put everything that I have, every single decoration that I have, I want to put it out. But um, for Easter, I don't do that still. I want to feel like the spring is coming and Easter is coming, so that's why I do a little bit. I um, bring my bunnies out and I put out some eggs and of course, you know, um, the day before Easter uh, we paint eggs in like real eggs and uh, display them and then we do a lot of baking and a lot of cooking and we do celebrate Easter. Um, it's just that I don't put out a lot of decorations in the house for that. So this is all that I have for this video. I'd like to thank you for watching it and uh, please consider subscribing. I have lots of over a hundred videos of this kind with home decor and glam and sparkles and all that so if you do like glams and sparkle as much as i do please by all means consider subscribing and you would not miss my next uploads i appreciate every single one of you Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel, for liking my videos, for commenting. I do my best to respond to all comments. And 
I, I also appreciate suggestions. How do you decorate your home? What would you have done different in my home? Anyway, that's the end of my video. Have a great day. Have a good night. Whatever you are.